I'm Matt Pat. And this is Game Lab. Every time. For the last five years, I've made a name for myself overanalyzing video games using real-world science and math. But now, I'm taking it to the next level by throwing some of the world's most popular gamers into the scenarios we play through every day. Will the game stack up to reality? And are gamers as good in real life as they are on screen? Welcome to Game Lab. I'm here at a top secret military base to learn a little bit more about the grandfather of tactical espionage action, Metal Gear Solid. I wore my military green and everything. Look at this. I blend in. Now you see me? Now you don't. Now you see me? Now you don't. When the original Metal Gear hit the scene back in 1987, it was the pioneer of the stealth gaming genre. Yeah, you could run into the enemy stronghold and try to gun your way through, but that would spell certain death. Instead, the way to win was to survey your surroundings, memorize security placements, and quietly make your way through. In 1998, Konami released the first installment in the series that most people know, Metal Gear Solid, which brought tactical espionage into the next generation by making it 3D. <laughs> And just last year, they released Metal Gear Solid 5, considered to be one of the best games of 2015 as Snake winds his way through desert military encampments. That's the one we'll be focusing on today. Metal Gear Solid has always differentiated itself by focusing on realism. When working on the games, the development team would visit real army bases to learn about the military. It was so serious that the game's creator, Hideo Kojima, said, quote, if the player isn't tricked into believing that the world is real, then there's no point in making the game. Pretty ambitious words there, especially when your protagonist regularly hides under a cardboard box to avoid capture. So today, we're putting Kojima's words to the test. This is, this is nice. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Awesome. Go on down. No. Oh, no, we're oh, hugging. I get so many hugs today. This is great. I see you wore your uh, stealth purple today. Yeah, you know, I uh, I figured I wanted to blend in with all our surroundings. Perfect. And and you both got the memo that we're shaving your hair, right? Oh, yeah. I was hoping to go, you know, like the side shave. Oh, Natalie yeah, Dormer it up, one. you know? I like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm down with that if everybody else is doing it. Okay, yeah. Well, and if right. you do it, too. Yeah, I'm totally yeah. okay with that. <laughs> so are you guys ready to become like stealth experts? Yes. Yeah. I think I already am, actually. B really? Yeah. Maybe well, better than all well, of them. well, show show us the way then, please. Oh, me? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I want to see those stealth yeah. skills in action. <laughs> it's correct. That was so <laughs> stealthy. Right? Going so stealthy. Like, like, wow. <laughs> he, he just disappeared from view. <laughs> Terrible. Hey guys, it is my extreme honor to introduce you to JP, former US Navy SEAL for about 12 years, is that Sorry. right? The rest is on a need to know basis, completely classified, so. We're here today to test out the game Metal Gear Solid, awesome. right? So are you a one man super soldier? Cause in the game you have Solid Snake, who's like this one man guy who just infiltrates anything. He has his team over his kind of intercom, but other than that, he's going in solo. Do you do solo missions or is there a team kind of infiltrating with you or mission by mission basis, or how's that work? I would say it's mission by mission, but okay. most of the time, the key word in the SEAL teams is team. Okay. You always have your, your boys with you. If you were to take a cardboard box, you were to put it over your head and just kind of crawl around, and then every now and then if the guards are coming by, you just stop? Like, would that be effective? Um, I think you doing push-ups until I'm tired would be more effective than that. So you can, yeah. Like right yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. okay. You so deserve this. You so <laughs> deserve this. this. Over, under on how many he does? Eight and a half. Uh, 50. Six, 15. Seven, eight. I've got Ten? 25. He's going strong. 11. Get up. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. I have sympathy for I him. kept going. Have you ever what, what parachuted into a place before? You That's can. Have you ever? You can. <laughs> That's, That's classified. classified. <laughs> I would like to touch on the technology, though, because such a huge part of Metal Gear is overcoming security technology. So you use night vision, goggles, and things like we that? You can, absolutely. OK, what about like infrared technology or kind of like heat sensors or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, that technology is great. Maybe a vehicle had been parked, right? Mm -hmm. And it was covering the sun 
from that area and the vehicle moved, now that's going to have less of a heat signature than others. So you can know something was there, now it's gone. Mm -hmm. and it's the same thing for humans. And as far as like maybe like trip wires, like with fishing line, it's yeah. really hard to see. If you use a visible laser, mm -hmm. let's say it's down a hallway, you take a visible laser on your gun and yeah. you run it up and down. When it hits that fishing wire, it'll sparkle off. So now you know something's right there. Wow. Huh. So with all this security technology, do you ever just have those moments where it's like, I can just open the door like they left the door unlocked? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've set up those situations all the time in training. <laughs> the guys are coming up to the door and they're putting their explosive breaches on, they're getting ready. And I'll come up as the instructor and be like, <laughs> just open the door. It's just, the look of defeat is, it's, it's so awesome. Fascinating. These are definitely all skills I would have used at like summer camp, man. <laughs> right? Speaking of those skills, do you, do you have anything you can teach us today? I think I have a few things we can do. You guys up for it? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's head on over, shall let's we? Let's do it. Sounds awesome. good. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> stealth, stealth walk, stealth walk. <gasps> okay. Just walk like a human. we haven't taught a stealth walk yet. Sauce. We were spotted, guys. We were spotted. <laughs> so, JP, what do you think? We uh, looking the part now? Yeah. For what comedy? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I think we are pretty appropriate. We're not ready right? for you stealth know? mode? Come is this, on. This is for stealth, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Makes a little bit of noise there. I, I, I suppose you're right. What, what about my? What about the jaunty scarf? It's cute if that's what you're going for. Eye patch yeah. helping focus my sniper eye. Uh, not so much. No. You shoot with both eyes open. It is kind of ruining a bit of my depth perception depth right now. Perception. So, <laughs> so what, do you, what do you have to show us today? Obviously, training is very important in what we do. Um, I don't have a full 18 months to work with you guys, so I need you guys to be on top of your game, uh, coachable, teachable. What we're doing is a lot of situational awareness, sure. being aware of your surroundings, trying to be quiet. Just walk like a normal human being. You'll be fine. So I need you to put this under that back Jeep. How do they stick? Are they magnetic? Yep. Onto the metal. And Just so walk normal. Back we vehicle. Believe in you. The back vehicle? Yeah. Okay. Busted. <laughs> You're dead. Dude, are you serious? What did I do? First to die. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> God, it's so loud. It's so loud. My jaunty scarf didn't save me. <laughs> Damn it. I'd rather you learn a lesson in training than in action. No, I, I, and I appreciate that. So take me through my mistake. You know, you, you need to be aware of your surroundings. Sure, of course. Now, would you want to leave that there, turn it off, leave it, or take it with you? Turn it off. Or turn it off, but then... You leave it there. Leave it. Yeah, because if, if, if you take it maybe somewhere, then they'll be like... Maybe it may have a tracker our... device on it. But could you use this or as a tool? Or you could use it as a distraction, maybe? Exactly. Or if, if you were leaving, if you wanted to set it up, yeah. and then to cover your tracks so that you're alerted if somebody was following you. Oh. oh. Smart. How do you move without making sounds or being detected or things like that? I mean, you don't want to be shuffling your feet, sure. you know, and your, your gear, like I was saying, if you were to move around, I mean, you're making a lot of noise. So yeah. you, we would tape up all the metal. Sometimes we do uh, little jump tests, like you, you jump up and down. Uh -huh. Sure. Walking, just walking normal, but just be aware of your surroundings, like you learned earlier. Right, yes. Okay. In, in the game, Snake does a lot of like crawling through vents, crawling under trucks. What techniques can you show us? You see on some video games or movies, they're just going like this and they're pulling themselves. Okay. You're now leaving a track. We can practice crawling under the vehicle. One of the parts for crawling, guys, is the same thing. Like, I don't want to be down here like pulling myself out. Uh -huh. I want to stay as low as possible if I needed to. So you're going to almost pick yourself up and do this. Yeah. OK. You can. Good. Way to survey Wait, the did scene. You, did you look at your surroundings? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is much slower than it is in the game. In the game. A little, little bit. A little bit. <laughs> what if Snake is doing this like, oh, like, come on. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I'm already dragging. He has way too much stuff. I have yeah, way was that empty bag on your back, like, necessary? <laughs> You're having to drag all your gear yeah. and carry everything else, and you're stuck. Spe speaking of that gear, I, I believe I have, uh, <laughs> I believe the axle of the truck has, has, has caught me. So, uh, okay, so you'd have to reach back behind you and see if you can squeeze under it. There you go. Yeah. 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 So here's some you know, basic cutters. We're going to want these painted up. I don't okay. be walking around with something red, right? Yellow. Oh, this is red and blue. Well, we ain't training right now. Oh, OK. <laughs> but you can do push-ups until I'm done talking. Oh, <laughs> oh man. 
You got the push up. Why did I open my mouth? You know, these are going to be a little more hardcore. You know, yeah, you can see course. the multiple levers. You can get up, buddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get it. Right. So something to think about with the cuts, we don't want to do it right in the corner because we want to be able to hook it back. Does that make sense? So we're going to make the cut the minimal amount that you need to go through, but also have the ability to somewhat put it back together. So from right here, trying to slowly squeeze, and that still made noise. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So then I'd take this, I would just unhook that. Okay. okay. And so then we're just gonna work our way Perfect. up. You didn't even cut it. Hold you on. Cut use it. your I, muscles. It's, to, it's all it. the way together. Oh, Put your purse down. Wow. <laughs> set, set your purse I thought, down. I, I, thought hey, I did it so quietly. <sighs> These are even the ones that are supposed loud. to make it really easy. It, it is easy. It's super right, easy. I think it's mad. Who else wants to? Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, she's got it under control. You think you can do it? Who knew that cutting a fence would be like it's such a puzzle? Yeah. It's really crazy. All right, so we're gonna try out the chokes. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and drop down on your knees, bud. Okay. Uh, I'm, making this, it, I'm making this too easy. <laughs> right? You're such an accommodating victim. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna happen no matter what. <laughs> you want to do All right, maybe I should easy make it. Way I should do this the easy way. So one one thing to think about, you know, as you come up from behind, like I don't want to go like this because he sees that, right? Yeah. Sure. yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Which applies to this game, I'm gonna snake it around. Oh! oh. oh. All right, so I'm just gonna come here, come around here. Right. It has to be done. We all got point. like really close oh, together. Oh, this, this got that got serious. real in a hurry. Oh, I want you guys to try it on me, okay? okay. okay. Remember, no. ladies no. first. No. Ladies first. Really? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Oh. You would you would sneak it around this way yep. and up this and then push here. And pull you back. Oh, yeah, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do I level up? Wow. Yes, you, you leveled up choking <laughs> skill. All right, next. <laughs> it seems so simple, but right? it seems he's so also simple. not fighting back. So. so here we go. Yep, go ahead. So I'm here, and I'm pulling you back like this. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I feel like this was a good moment between us. So I believe our expert here has set up a little challenge to put our skills to the test. Ooh, so right. uh, shall we go get ready for that? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Here, let's head on out, right? <laughs> so I asked JP to design a challenge for us that's going to put to test everything that we learned today. JP, take us through it. The two of you guys, you guys are going to go inside. You're going to infiltrate there. I need you guys to get to a tent. There's a hard drive. Get it and get out. Okay. The two of you guys are gonna be inside, you guys are gonna protect it, okay? If they capture you guys, if they put two hands on you, you're out. If they come up to you guys, come behind you, choke, tap you, you're out, all right? Cool. Any questions? No questions. We're good. Mm -hmm. Just beware the snake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys get going. Right, We're gonna go this way. All right. <laughs> No one's there. I can't see anything, Matt. Okay. Wait, I'm just gonna keep going. Put the lights back on. <laughs>
Hey, you guys have some movement headed your way. I repeat, two people headed your way. Do we want to leave the tent open like that? I don't think so. She is not moving. She seems to be listening to your guys' movements. Use the shadows to your advantage as you get closer to the tent. Take them out and get the hard drive and get out of there. You don't have any time. You tripped an alarm. Ow. Austin, do you read me? Austin, can you take her out? Choker as soon as she passes you and go. Matt, just go for it. Go for it right down the center. So, so let's recap here. This is much harder than I think anyone anticipated. First off, what were you guys seeing? What were we seeing? Let, let's talk about that. At first, like, we didn't see a thing. The spotlight was right on the tent. We couldn't see anything past the Humvee. So when you guys came that in through so the gate, we yeah. couldn't see anything. <laughs> Each time, Austin and I would peek out around the corner right at the front of the we gate just, here, <gasps> like Odom, every <laughs> damn time. It's like, oh, there's Odom again. <laughs> Odom, leave the damn hole. I was just standing there like, I know I can see past the light if I just try hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so round two. It's us four gamers going up against JP. Do we stand a chance against an ex-Navy SEAL? Well, we're going to try. That one is going to that. Go right. Is he inside the tent or not? You have to go. You have to go. Go, go, go. Where is he? He was walking back. Okay. Okay, he's headed back towards the tent. He's headed 
through what your strategy was through all this. Right away, I saw you guys come in through the front gate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was miserable. Yep. My whole goal was just to kill one of you guys. I just wanted one so I can grab your radios and just start messing with you. That's me. You just stole my walkie-talkie. I suggest you come and get your buddy to talk to you before I do unimaginable things to it. That screwed me because I didn't realize you had the radio. As soon as I knew these were compromised, I just took mine off and I was like, nope, nah, it's that. <laughs> By the way, yeah. you just I have to say, you were the first to die. Like I said at the very beginning of this episode, can we cut back to that? I told you you'd be the first to die. <laughs> oh, no. OK. Well, well, there you go. Final thoughts. This was incredibly fun. It was exhilarating, sneaking around and like trying not to get caught. It was so much fun. I thought this was such an incredible experience. It really gave me an even more appreciation for what you guys do out there. Austin, what about you, sir? Hard as it was sneaking in against you guys, it was 100 times harder sneaking in against someone who actually knew what he was doing. Compromise our radio system. Like, <laughs> he knew what I was. I told Genius. him what I was. And I think at the end of the day, what today really shows is people like JP are spending years of their lives so that way when they're put into these situations where the stakes are phenomenally higher, it is literally life or death, they're not panicking. They are staying true to their training. So thank you, sir, thank you. so Appreciate much it. for today. You guys are good, man. When it comes to Metal Gear Solid, there's a couple takeaways here. First, alert mode. Just because you're spotted doesn't necessarily mean you're caught. Just because an alarm goes off in another part of the place doesn't mean that your partner's already caught. So good job, Metal Gear. You're actually pretty on point when it comes to that. No one brought the cardboard box. I used to no, box. You did. I used to box. Yeah. yeah. The key here is me right now. That's how he ended up behind me. Yeah. <laughs> I just so, walked right by him so, while he was hiding in a box. So against amateurs, <laughs> box. box. Strategy for the win. Box. Boxes may work against people like these guys. <laughs> Boxes ain't gonna work against this guy. <laughs> like, he will find that box and stomp it into the ground. <laughs> so I think that about wraps things up here for today. But I do have one final request before we truly close things out. One more round. One more round. You infiltrate on us. Get some. Oh, yeah. Bring it on, sir. <laughs> we'll, we'll be seeing you soon. Get it. <laughs> gonna die. Team Penetrate. Yeah. yeah. Plan Z. All right, we have so many plans. We've got, we've got plans A through Y. Yeah. We're walking on plan Z now. Yeah. Plan Z is screaming, running around. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> run straight for the device. Yeah.